So I'm gonna give you one guess on why I'm doing a Mario Land review. Because I have all the footage recorded from the top 10 Mario games vid that I made. Ha ha ha! Well, that's only half the reason. The other half of the reason is because this game is awesome! Made in 89, Super Mario Land was a launch title for the Wonder Brick that is known as the Game Boy, and it did the console proud, selling over 18 million copies. Let me put that into perspective. Mario Galaxy, our number one Mario game of all time, hasn't sold half as many copies as this game. That's impressive. I guess I should mention right off the bat, this game is a lot different from the rest of the games in the Mario canon. First of all, the controls are much looser. That plays well into the Game Boy's favor. Next, the Koopas explode whenever you jump on them. Let me repeat, explode, boom, gone. Plus, there are a lot of checkpoints, and I mean a lot. Like, take a couple steps, and you're at a checkpoint. Sometimes you don't even have to get to the checkpoint. Just get close enough and they'll give it to you. Hmm. Next, there's no fire ability. Touch a flower and you get Super Balls, which can collect coins along with killing baddies. And I'm pretty sure there was something else. Uh, what was it? Oh, right, it's a 2D shooter. Mario jumps in a submarine and airplane and kicks butt also. And this leads to one of the most fun Mario final bosses of all time against Bowser. Wario? Um, warts? Okay, who is it then? Tatanga? What? I've never heard of Tatanga. I mean, what's so cool about Tatang- Oh, he's an alien. And I'll let it slide. Let's get to grading this game. First of all, the graphics. I know, I know, they look like garbage. But remember, this was a launch title for the Game Boy. It's not gonna look like this. So that being said, I'm giving the graphics an 8, because let's be honest, they mimic the first Mario game's graphics pretty well. As for controls, like I said before, they're loose. I mean, very loose. I mean, I can't beat this game with an analog stick on the GBA player on my GameCube loose. So, I'm gonna give the controls a 7, since it does complement the Game Boy's control scheme well. As for creativity, I'm gonna give it a 9 for the 2D shooter stages alone. And I've gotta ask, why hasn't there been a 2D shooter Mario game? He's been judged through RPGs and sports games, so why not another genre? The music? It's awesome. Like, really awesome. This theme here is teased at you through worlds 1 through 3, but it's played in full for you whenever you beat the game. It's also got the iconic Mario Land theme, but my favorite is the closing credits theme. Here, I'm gonna give the music a 10 and dance a little bit. Finally, fun. I'm gonna give it a 9 here, mainly because it's just so different from the other Mario games, and I mean that in a good way. This means this game overall gets an 8.6 out of 10. It's just an awesome game, and I have to recommend that you download it for the 3DS or pick up a copy at your local used game shop since they both run for only a couple of bucks. Thanks for watching. Oh, and before you click off the video, we're gonna start featuring walkthroughs here starting October 16th. I'm not going to tell you what game we're going to start off with, but here's a hint.